This is an ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 72 beats per minute. You'll notice that the computer has got this wrong. The rhythm is difficult to be certain about. There are 12 beats recorded on this ECG and the rhythm is clearly irregular. Some of these beats are preceded by what appears to be atrial activity, i.e. P waves, and when P waves are present, they're conducted with a PR interval which appears to be constant. These are therefore sinus beats. There are also complexes that don't have an obvious P wave preceding them. These are identical in morphology to the sinus beats and are therefore supraventricular beats and probably supraventricular ectopics. The rhythm is therefore probably sinus rhythm with supraventricular ectopics. It's possible that some of these other beats are also sinus beats, but the P waves are buried within the QRS or T wave of the preceding complex. The axis is normal, with an upright complex in lead 1 and an upright complex in lead 2. The upright complex in lead 1 is only borderline more up than down, and therefore the axis sits at the borderline of right axis deviation. The PR interval measures 7 small squares and is therefore prolonged. The QRS complexes are 3 small squares in duration and are therefore normal. There are small Q waves present in lead 3 and AVF but these are too small to be classed as pathological Q waves. They're likely to develop into them, however. There is ST segment elevation present in lead 2, 3, and AVF. There's ST segment depression in lead V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, lead 1, and lead AVL. There is T wave inversion present in lead V1, V2, and V3, V4, V5, and V6. There's also deep T wave inversion in AVL and a biphasic T wave in lead 1. In summary, this ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain is in sinus rhythm with supraventricular ectopics at 72 beats per minute with a normal axis, ST segment elevation in the inferior leads and ST segment depression with T wave inversion throughout much of the rest of the ECG. This would suggest that the patient is having an ST segment elevation myocardial infarction complete with rhythm abnormalities. It's possible that the T wave inversion and ST segment depression in the anterior leads represents posterior extension of the infarct. Posteriorly placed ECG leads would help to confirm this, i.e. a V7 and V8. The rhythm abnormality, whatever it is, probably represents ischemia of the sinus node. The sinus node is frequently supplied by the right coronary artery, which also supplies the inferior aspect of the heart, so the two often go hand in hand. This patient needs an emergency coronary angioplasty. They also need a close eye on their rhythm abnormality and would need to be paced if the block became more profound.